on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Photographers, let's say a photographer, for example, it's a ton of photographers, right? You can throw a rock and you can hit a photographer all over the map, right? But then you have to ask yourself, okay, what separates you from you and what makes you awesome and what makes you awesome or whatever, so on and so forth. But everybody feels, right? It's all a feeling, right? I think that the market determines your value. The market determines your value. The numbers, um, that is the thing that that people need to lean on. And mo more importantly, in a negotiation, you can always find out how much you're worth if you're willing to walk away and whether or not they're willing to let you walk away, right? So I think that most people overvalue themselves. If you really want to understand what your worth is, all you got to do is look at the market value and what it is that you really, really generating and whether or not we can take a robot or or even some firm animal and then put them in a place of you and whether or not the job will still continue to go on. So I think most people do overvalue themselves though. Like I'm an artist and I've done commissions and some I'll just be like, I'm not going to do it because I won't do it for under a certain amount of money. And that's fine. Go find somebody to do it cheaper, but it's not going to be me. It just gotcha. depends. And if some, if you're working for someone though, if you're trying to like be on with somebody else, you have to negotiate. Whereas if you're doing your own thing, you don't really, you can determine what the market thinks is reasonable and you can find your price and then you can stick to it and say, look, if depending on your situation, some people are, you know, it depends. Uh, but you can stick to your price and say, I'm not doing it for any less than this. So. Okay. I'm just curious. I'm with it. I'm just observing right now. No worries. What you observing? Just paying attention to what everybody is saying. Why? Because I got two eyes and two open ears. enrollment is coming. No, I'm just I'm two just eyes, kidding. two ears, one mouth. I need to be listening I'm playing. Just as much as I'm <laughs> as I'm speaking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm just saying. Go ahead, do your thing, Jerry. <laughs> Anton, oh my god. We got all night. Trust me. We Anton, got all night. Anton, I thought we were behaving tonight. <laughs> I, am, I am behaving. Simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. Rilla, in business, yeah, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. What are your thoughts? And then also when you finish, how do you determine what you deserve? Well, let me, let me, let me. Um, so let me say this. First of all, that's a very accurate, accurate statement. Um, but let's be clear. Most people don't even negotiate. Most people um, accept certain things at face value. So I do, while I understand what Kay's saying as an independent artist, and maybe you have that luxury as an independent artist to say, um, you know, hey, I value my work at, you know, this whatever, da, 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 this price, and I won't do anything for anything less than this price, this commission price or whatever. Truth of the matter is when you're talking salary and you're talking maybe at the corporate level, so on and so forth. If I get an example, real life example, I had a peer that went for a position um, in a location that was a higher sales volume than what she was previously at. Now she has, now here's, here's the thing, here's the key. She has um, six years of experience leading and contributing to the district, but she doesn't have six years of experience exclusively in a high volume location or at least for what they were trying to promote her to. And so she attempted, you know, she did attempt. She's, they came with a price, she came with another one. They said they rescinded the offer, right? But she gave it a good heave ho. And the happy ending for her is that she actually wound up at a store, um, higher volume and got a decent amount, but not what she was asking for, so on and so forth, right? So the thing of it is when you coming in and you're trying to negotiate, because I think everybody, even if you're in a union job, if they give you that first amount, um, I think you should push back and ask for what's possible because a lot of times you just don't know because you didn't ask. Um, but be prepared to make the business case for um, why you should get that amount. Another case, an example. I'll talk to one of the leaders in my building today, and she's been with the company for 10 years. And she made a solid case for why I need to go to bat for her and um, advocate on her behalf for her to get more money, right? And so she definitely 100,000% deserves more money. So that's that's the next line of, um, <laughs> that's the next uh, uh, pile of work on my plate is to 
prepare the business case to be able to talk to my leader and advocate on behalf of her why she should get more money. But I think most people just accept what is. And then the other thing is, I think people under they overestimate their worth to that kind of like a lot of people just be sitting up there. I've been here for years. I've been doing this for years. Yeah. But you haven't really kind of advanced the agenda. If I took you out of the cog, right. <laughs> if I took you out of the wheel and put somebody else in, they would fit in just the same. We wouldn't miss a beat. Right. So why am I paying you more money? We're still in a capitalist society. And I think a lot of people think they deserve more based on what they feel like they should get. Right. So if I went to bat and I talked to my boss, um, I could line up the accolades. I could line up my 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 like what I've produced to uh, make the case for why I should get more money. But I agree. You definitely I don't think you get. Um, Shoot, man, I don't even think people typically get what they deserve because they don't negotiate to begin with. They just accept what is. So. All right. I like that, bro. That's a good point. Anton, in business, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. Um, I think that you get both. I think that most people are overvalued. Most people think that they are worth more than what they really are. And as a result, um, <laughs> it's so funny because I always equated back to a lot of times when I first meet people or when they first sign in or they first get the job or something like that. And they just so excited, like they just happy to be there. Right. They come from nothing. They come from the mud. And then all of a sudden, if you look at them two days later, it's like, huh, you know, because I'm the man all of a sudden. And it's like, yo, fam, when I found you, you was, a, you know, you was playing in the pig pen. You know what I'm saying? Like, when did you automatically become the man? So, you know, it just depends on the circumstances. It depends on the situation. I believe that most people overvalue themselves in most situations. And so they have no leverage to be yet to even begin with. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't it, it depends if you in a corporate setting, if you, you know, in a business. I know people, for example, can use the example of um, being an artist. Right photographers let's say a photographer for example it's a ton of photographers right you can throw a rock and you can hit a photographer all over the map right but then you have to ask yourself okay what separates you from you and what makes you awesome and what makes you awesome or whatever so on and so forth but everybody feels right it's all a feeling right i think that the market determines your value the market determines your value the numbers um that is the thing that that people need to lean on and mo more importantly in a negotiation you can always find out how much you're worth if you're willing to walk away and whether or not they're willing to let you walk away right so i think that most people overvalue themselves if you really want to understand what your worth is all you got to do is look at the market value and what it is that you really really generating and whether or not we can take a robot or or even some firm animal and then put them in a place of you and whether or not the job will still continue to go on so I think most people do overvalue themselves, though. 